I recently posted a video about why I don't like the CRF E2, and long story short, it's slow. So in this video, I'm gonna boost the power to make it the world's first electric Honda CRF supermoto. That's such a mouthful. Yeah, I'm on my own. I don't need no one. I don't. Yeah, I'm in my now before we upgrade the power, I want to show you what this bike is like stock. This is full throttle. <laughs> this thing's so slow. Dude, this is daunting. Oh, here we go. Oh, no! <laughs> we're good, we're good. It just popped out. So the bike's electronically limited to 20 miles an hour, which isn't even close to the motor's full potential. In fact, everything about this bike is asking for it to go faster. It's got a robust moto frame, moto brakes, and decent suspension. But to get more out of the motor, we've got to put more in. So here's the plan. We're going to do a 72 volt battery upgrade, controller upgrade, and put some street supermoto wheels on it. But first, we've got to strip it. Oh my god, it's so slow. I'm trying to fly away. No, I'm going to... I'm gonna do a 180. All right, go. Let's do is stripped and it's time to upgrade. Here's what we've got. For the brain of this build, we've got an ASI BAC 4000 motor controller. I'm powering this bike with a custom built 72 volt Mola cell battery. There's not very much space in there, so it's only about 17 amp hours. And finally, I'm throwing on the coolest fucking supermoto wheels I've ever put on an e-bike. These are Michelin street tires on three piece rims. That was plenty of talking, let's build. world's first electric Honda CRF Supermoto is complete. The custom 72 volt battery fills every bit of available space and the BAC 4000 controller is tuned to push 15 kilowatts through the stock motor. And my favorite part, extra fat Michelin street tires on these beautiful three piece wheels. It looks amazing, very similar to the Razor I just built. They're about the same size with a similar appearance. The Razor can fit a larger battery, while the CRF can fit larger wheels. The CRF is also a little bit beefier, like its frame and brakes, but the Razor is a little bit lighter. Overall, the CRF is more expensive, but it should also be more powerful. It was a little difficult to get the wheels and custom battery to work, but we did it with massive help from Domo at Supervolt. You can check them out down below. This bike looks so good. Let's give the world's first electric CRF Supermoto. It's first test ride, very first ride. Got Sawyer coming out with me. Quick top speed run. Look how fast this takes off. Ooh, that's fast. 
<laughs> so it's got like it's got this sweet spot in the throttle like if you if you don't go all the way you go just before all the way it's actually stronger so maybe we got to work on the throttle curve let me do one more let me do one more that was so fun i wonder what we're doing it feels like at least 45. we'll have to check the gopro yeah all right let's just go ride your chest pack's open oh shit thank you Trash trucks were, you know. It's just grounded, like compared to the stock bike when it has those thin knobby tires on it, having these big fat Supermoto street wheels, I'm so grounded. But obviously the biggest difference is the power. This is at least two and a half times faster. Brakes are still stock, but we've got fatter rotors. It feels pretty similar to the Razor build in terms of the size. But it, it, but it also feels, you know, more solid and robust. This is a Honda. The base price of this bike is about as much as the Razor by the time you've upgraded it. I don't know how I feel about doing wheelies on it right now. After that Razor incident with new brakes, I'm not trying to wheelie new brakes again. And also, I think we need to do some work on the throttle curve. try this dirt let's see if I could go back up these rocks <laughs> it's got the power just not the grip Whoa. it's so light you can just you can just carry it around Whoa. this is why they this is why you get a small bike <laughs> oh these tires are so so nice they remind me of the mini moto wheels on the suron mini bikes are the best i cannot stop smiling there's something about small bikes you don't take yourself seriously on it you're, you're really just out to have as much fun as possible i'm gonna try to hit this in the mud whoa whoa <laughs> <laughs> just slipping all over the place look how fat this back wheel is i love it it looks so good we are always the only people out here this is the best spot all right you're right why is that the slowest burnout of all time i don't know what it is but this isn't quite as snappy as the razors it's got it's got more high end speed but like snappiness predictability on the throttle and arguably the brakes too i actually think the razor takes the dub oh <laughs> you see all the dirt <laughs> i really do want to try a wheelie but i'm scared but i have to give it one try let me give it one try the brake locks the wheel. I just gotta slam the brake. Here we go. I'm so nervous. Okay, okay. It's just not as snappy as the Razor. It feels even way less snappier than at the beginning. Okay, the motor's hot. So we're pushing a stock motor like five times what it should be. So let me give it a little second to cool down and then I'm gonna try these wheelies again. It's like it pops up and then it, it doesn't kick back in. <laughs> it's like no snap <laughs> that was full throttle it's got it's got that good top speed but this is not a wheelie machine right now all right that's it so i kind of screwed myself over i gave myself just enough time to build it and then test it but not enough time to make any changes so for now it's going fast it feels great ride quality but i would not call this a stunt machine but that's just a me that's just a me problem give me another week or two this will be a wheelie machine trust me so there you go, we just built the world's first electric Honda CRF Supermoto, pushing 15 kilowatts through a BAC 4000 controller and a custom 72 volt mall cell battery. Massive, massive shout out to Supervolt with helping with this upgrade build. This thing is badass. As always, thank you so much for watching. As I do.